Hey everybody, this is Dave from Steel City Joints Flight Academy, back in sunny Florida, and I'm back here to answer more questions regarding remote ID. So here's another question that we got. It involves, does a drone refer to quads and not to RC, helicopters, or any unmanned remote controlled aircraft would need to be proposed remote ID? Now, I think that's asking me, what's actually involved in a system like this? Great question, and I'll be glad to answer that. They're under the proposed plan. It is going to affect all unmanned aircraft systems. Under that umbrella includes any RC planes or helicopters. That includes any remote aircraft. It can involve any, all the DGI aircraft that we have. Anything that is unmanned is going to be affected by the remote ID program. So it's going to affect all flyers, all remote pilots. It's going to affect all hobbyists as well as commercial flyers. And it's going to even hit the hobbyist more because now if let's say you want to use the same, let's say your dad built a RC plane 10 years ago. And in five years, under the proposed plan, you want to fly that same RC plane. You're going to be limited. The FAA is going to be tell you that you can only fly it in very specific areas. And you're going to be very limited on where and what you can do with it, or how high you can fly and how far away you can fly it. So it's, you know, I think, there's, again, there's not, it's not defined clearly, but I think that's going to be relegated to like AMA parks, for example. It is going to affect all remote aircraft. Doesn't matter what type, if it's quad, hexacopter, octocopter, planes, helicopters, it doesn't matter. They're all included into this plan. So I hope that explains it. And like always, please keep the questions coming.